Bass line number three, this is the shuffle. Now this is a rhythm written all in eight notes. So the whole groove is written through is in eight notes. Now it's the classic way to do to practice the shuffle is obviously over the blues. Now the way it's written is straight eight notes. So it's written like this. But the way we're feeling it and we're gonna play it is more of a triplet kind of feel. So it's gonna sound like this. And again, very steady, very straightforward kind of groove going through the changes. Let me go ahead and play this one for you. Okay, so basically on this groove, most of the times we'll start with the root of that particular chord as the first note, and we'll play that twice, and we'll try to play each note kind of twice in an eight note non-stop kind of pattern. So the first bar F7 climbing to the next bar B flat 7 would be, which is F, G, A flat, A natural, and we got to B flat. So let's try that together. Three, four. Okay, now we're on B flat, and we're doing the same thing, coming back to F. So we're going to go to open D, E flat, E natural, and we're back on F. So let's try those two bars together. One, two, three, four. back on F. Now we have two bars of F. We're kind of just going to stay on F through D, E flat, E, F. And then try to climb back to B flat. So you get you get how I'm doing this. Basically, start at the root, climb to the next chord. So let's try to play those four first bars together and land on the one of bar number five, the B flat. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Right, so this is really easy once you grasp it. You kind of kind you can play this groove over any chord changes, really. Now, for the sake of the style, we're gonna stay on two bars of B flat seven and not go to that bar of B diminished seven. So we're gonna play two bars of B flat seven. Climb back to F seven. Okay, let's play those two bars of B flat and land on F three four. Now we have a bar of F seven and then a bar of A minor seven and D seven at the same bar. The way we're gonna do this is like this. F actually gonna come to one on the A minor chord with an F note just for the sake of the line. And you'll see that sometimes, not just in this style, but I will choose to play a different note than the root on the one as long as that makes the line sound prettier and just more linear than to have that rule set in stone. We have to play the bass note on the first note of that bar, the, the root. So in this case, it definitely works. We're going to land on F, then play the A, then play the D, then play the F sharp, the third of the D, that will take us to the next chord, the G minor 7. So those two bars, the F7, and then the A minor 7, and D7. Three, four. <laughs> G 
on G minor 7, climbing up to C7, so. And from C7, climbing up to F again as the first note on the A minor 7 chord for the turnaround. So from G minor 7 to C7. Now climbing to C sharp, D, E, and we'll land on F. So C7 for the turnaround. F, A, D, F sharp, G, B, C, E. So the two bars, the last two bars, the turnaround is F, A, D, F sharp, G, B natural, C, E, takes us to the top. So let's play the last four bars, G minor 7, C7, and then the turnaround. One, two, three, four. back on top. So you'll see that uh, I'll always choose notes to lead into the next chord. For instance, from G minor 7 to the C7, the note that will lead into the C would be a B natural, right? Even though a G minor 7 has a B flat in the chord, not a B natural, since it's a passing note, it's okay and the line sounds better if you do that. And we're in C, and then for example, if I want to go from D7 to G minor, I'm going to play a low F sharp, which is also the third of D, and also half step below G. So it will lead me right into it. And then from G to C, again, it's a G minor chord, but I can still play a B natural, because it's kind of a passing note to lead me into the C chord. Okay? So this is a concept we we might use in some other grooves too. So the shuffle, definitely try to listen to a lot of shuffle music and a lot of great bass players who master that style. And uh, again, practice this with a metronome. Practice it slower, practice it faster, practice it with a track, and you got it.